craft brewers are popping up all over central Indiana. Now today we stop by one that is brewing beer in an unlikely place. Mm -hmm. So now as Lauren Casey takes us inside the nearly 150 year old building that's making new history. And I'm standing outside what used to be St. Joseph Catholic Parish here in Indianapolis, but inside they're no longer talking about turning water into wine, but barley into beer. It's like hands go up as if they want to pray, but they actually have an iPhone and take a picture. Carl Man is one of seven owners of St. Joseph Brewery and Public House, which opened its doors about two weeks ago in May 2015 A.D. But the cornerstone was laid back in 1873 when St. Joseph became the fourth Catholic church here in Indianapolis. As the population moved and changed, the archdiocese decided to deconsecrate the church, saying the last mass in 1949. For years and years and years, you always looked at this building when it was poor up and go like, what a shame, what a shame this building. It's such a beautiful old Gothic uh, uh, church. Something should be done with it. Carl tells me that they are trying to breathe new life into the historic space, updating the structure, but preserving the memories. The bar is made from reclaimed wood from the parish. Old pews line the waiting area. Holy water fonts still reside by the entrance. And many beers get their names from the church itself. Uh, Doubt, Stout. So Father Doubt was a priest that served 42 years here. In Boland's uh, Brown Ale, we named after the architects. We're trying to keep it alive and not let it go, not let it disappear into, into uh, history. A building once rotting away, now born again. Reporting for The Now Indy, Lauren Casey, RTV6. We also found out that children and well-behaved dogs are allowed in the restaurant or porch section of the brewery. For another look at the church-turned brewery, we are posting a photo gallery on theindychannel.com.